Hi. About two weeks ago, I posted a widget um, to uh, my website for people to download that was about sort of annotating and doing some basic written work that you get into your iBook. And um, I got some response from people um, who wanted to use it in a more image-based way. Um, what I did was based around a Microsoft Word document, which obviously lends itself more to text. Um, but people responded that uh, they wanted to annotate different images. And I work with some teachers at my school who also wanted to annotate things like maps and diagrams and charts. Um, and I also thought that um, there's a simpler way to kind of generate your own content for these widgets. So I want to come back and redo this um, with what I think is a, a more streamlined kind of workflow um, to help people out. So um, I've generated two versions of the widget. One is landscape, one is portrait. And they're the exact same uh, exact same function, but one lets you do it wide, one lets you do it tall. Uh, and depending upon the, the orientation of your book or the way you envision students doing work or however you want to do it, you can pick which one best works for you. I'm going to demonstrate both with the same image, but um, the, uh, the piece of software to use to generate the content for this is Keynote, which is great because it's pretty universal on Mac and it's very user friendly and it's very flexible and there's a lot of great things you can do in Keynote so um, this will hopefully be easier for some people to to work with this widget um, so let me show you how they work this is the portrait one so I'll show the um, package contents on the portrait widget I'm just gonna launch it in the web browser to preview it right and it says here this is a placeholder image and notice how it gives you the dimensions. This is the important part, right? Um, the iPad screen, or the, the I should say the widget, is 768 pixels by 1024 pixels when it's portrait. Um, and then, you know, you, you want to write on this. You have black ink. You have a red pen. You have a blue pen. And then you have a highlighter. I'll highlight the word image here, right? Um, you have a, an eraser to kind of get rid of little mistakes and you have a clear command just like you did before with my other widget um, but replacing this will actually be simpler um, if I quit this one I'll show you the landscape it's exactly the same right but the landscape one is going to be wide so same idea right again you can write and you have 1024 by 768 pixels to to write upon so um, let's generate these right um, the nice thing about that size, 1024 by 768, is that it's super easy to do in Keynote. So I'm just going to take a blank white presentation. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the um, any of the content on the slides. I'll zoom out a little. Right? This actually is 1024 by 768. If you go to the document and you look for the size of the slide, it'll tell you it's 1024 by 768. So if you want to do a landscape widget, you're already set. I'm going to make a portrait one first just for demonstration purposes, purposes and I'm going to switch it. So I'm going to make this a tall orientation, you can see there. Um, and now, right, I can bring some content in. And this is what's nice about Keynote is that it's really easy to work with. It's drag and drop. So I have a, an image on my desktop, um, a GIF image, right? It's a diagram of the heart, right? And if I wanted students to work with that, right, I can drag it in here, I can resize it, right, I can add text really simply, okay, grab the text box, right, I can put anything I want on there. Um, and if I like this, and I, this is good to go for me, all I need to do is export it as an image. So I go to File Export. I choose images and there's my image tab I want it to be a PNG file right? and I'm going to go ahead and do this now what will happen is um, I only have one slide in the deck here I'm going to call this image I'll go to the desktop this is going to create a folder called image Let me hide keynote for a second right and then in that image folder it'll number all my slides so I only have the one slide uh, and there it is you can see the preview and notice how it says dimensions, 768 by 1024. That's what I need. I'm just going to get rid of the number. 
we just want this to simply be called image.png, right? And now I'll take my portrait widget over here in the assets folder. I have image PNG. Let me drag in my new one, replace. And now when I launch the widget, there I am. And you can annotate right over this. You have the full page to work with. There you go. Right? Now if I wanted to do this in landscape, no problem. Let's go back into Keynote. Get rid of the slide over here. All right? Um, I'm going to clear the content out. And I'm going to go to slide size again. And I'll put it back to what it was. All right, let me zoom out. This is the full slide. Same thing, I'll drag my image in here. And now, all right, can resize this. I can put my text label in. All right, maybe I want to create another text box over here. Where I give the kids some space to write the names in. There are 15 things in the diagram. All right. Put that in right there. Good. All right. If I'm happy with that, again, I can export. The image. I'll put this to the desktop again. Now I'm going to overwrite that folder because I just did this before. I don't need this anymore. All right. So I'll go to my landscape widget. There's your image ping. Here's your new. Once again, you can see the dimensions, 1024 by 768. Let me get rid of the number. Replace the PNG. Launch the new widget. And there we go. And now I can write over here. I can write over here. I can do anything I need to do. I'll clear the sheet. All right. And I have the widget ready to go. So, uh, like I said, whether you want portrait or landscape, it's a little simpler to work in Keynote to bring in images, to mix text and images. Um, you could do this purely text-based, purely image-based. Uh, however you want to go about doing it, it's very, very easy then to generate what you, uh, whatever you want to put into these widgets for your books. I uh, hope this is helpful, and uh, good luck with it.